getting closer. And it's gonna be big. Infected. 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 Hello and welcome to Infected, the online television equivalent of that cousin of yours that got really drunk at your wedding and pretty much ruined it for everybody else. But at the same time, in four years, after you've gone through a bitter divorce, it'll be the best memory you have of that miserable day that you're still struggling to pay off. I'm Internet's Martin Sargent. And I'm joined as always by the Gator. How you doing, Gator? I'm good, buddy. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. I'm very, exci- I'm very excited about this show, especially after last week's show, which pretty much sucked. Yeah, pretty did. It was pretty <laughs> awful. It was pretty awful. I don't know what happened last week, but we're, yeah. we're, we're on the up and up. We're on the up and up here. It's, it's a whole new infected. There was a gas leak. There's, a, the there's there. something yeah, going on. There's some carbon monoxide going through this apartment. I like that uh, that video there. That was that's good. She was a cutie, huh? Yeah. I, I, wow. That's good. That's good. She stuff was really away. going for it, wasn't she? I like them splits she did when she fell down to them. So I, I forget what they call that. It's like the duddy something. It's some dance. There's a dance called. Yeah. That. It's, I, I don't know. I, I think there's a whole bunch of some YouTube videos. Thing. There's a bunch of YouTube <laughs> videos where these people are just getting all fucked up and doing that dance. Well, you know that. I don't know. I don't remember the name. I bet somebody out there does. What's that called? I can look it up, but I don't want to. It's like Duddy. Are you a good dancer? Yeah, I'm, I'm a good seen, dancer. I've never seen you dance. Are you kidding before? me? Uh, well, I, don't I know. dance like the wind. I'm like, right, just well. go blowing through a room. You and me are gonna have to go dancing sometime. Go out and hit the, hit one of them dance clubs. I'd enjoy that. I never have been to one of them dance clubs. I'd enjoy I'd that. You probably do the line dancing in the. I kick it the up. Virginia Reel and all that kind of thing. <laughs> Kenny Chesney. I get it moving, boy. Hey, hey, really important show tonight. Really important. In fact, it's a crucial piece of Americana. Uh-huh. That's what we're serving up to you tonight. Uh, we're going to have self-defense expert Ricky Kang. He's back and he says he's got a new product. Well, he's that he says is going to make um, you and your family safer. Yep, he's got. The, yeah, he does. He's, he's doing our sponsorship. For yes, the show. yes. Right. He, he's actually taking out. It's kind of sad when <laughs> when your only sponsor is Ricky Kang. Well, Ricky Kang does a lot of business. I bet he he he, uh, he got a lot of people that are going to buy them products. I, I'd imagine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's great. But first, you know, Gator, we have a lot of fun on this show. We you sure know. do, buddy. Just uh, you know, <laughs> <laughs> making fun of stuff we find on the internet. We just yuck it up. We do, we do. <laughs> but the internet is a lot more than you know. You know, fun and finding easy anonymous lays and it's and more buying, than buying masturbating the public library, buying too. drugs from shady Canadian pharmacies. There's yeah. more to the internet than that, it and that's really that's why we're here to teach you all about the internet. In fact, the internet can also be quite useful, and that's why we're starting a new segment here on Infected called Useful Tips. <laughs> here we go. Okay. What do you got on the agenda for us today? Here's 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 my useful tip for the night. It's um it's a website called This to That. This to That. That's cute. This as is fun. a great website because basically, if you want to know how to stick uh-huh. something to something else, this is the site where you go to do it. So let's let's demo it here. Attach what? Anything you want here. How Ceramic, fiber, leather, glass. You want to do glass? Glass. Okay. Yeah. And now, how would you attach that to any one of these other elements? How about uh, vinyl? Vinyl. So glass to vinyl, let's glue. It says General Electric Silicon 2 would be the strongest choice. That's However, what, a faster alternative would be Seal All. That's what I, when I made my, when I made a playpen for my daughter out of glass and silicon, I used it. I used it. <laughs> I used to seal all, and I made a little glass box. But yeah. then it got all fogged up on the inside, so I had to well, uh, smash her out. I there. love that site, but it doesn't go far enough for me. Okay. Because there's a lot of things okay. that Martin Sargent wants to attach to something else right. that aren't covered on that site. Okay. Like for example, um, let's say you want to attach my intern Joey's flesh to indoor outdoor car- carpeting. What's the best adhesive for that task? <laughs> Well, in my experience, in my experience, it's, it's best just to use a lighter to melt Joey's skin directly to the har- carpeting and let it cool. 
Would you melt the skin or the carpeting there with the light? Well, you, you go for the skin first, but sometimes you want to do mm -hmm. both. Sometimes. Or, or for example, um, what if you want to attach a turd to a girl's forehead after she just won't get the hint that you want her to fuck out of your bed? Well, that's, if it's a sturdy, well-formed turd, <laughs> I suggest using rubber cement. Um, even if she managed to knock most of the turd off, she'll have still have a goodly amount of fecal residue attached to her, her forehead. Well, um, I reckon she would. When, when she's running out of your house crying. Yeah. And, and finally, what if you want to attach a live chicken to a puppy? Why the hell wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Here I find the best course of action is uh, to sew them together, not using an adhesive all, but sew them together using a large gauge needle and a nice sturdy length of cat gut. <laughs> so remember infected That's arms. nice though because the cat gut eventually will dissolve away and the That's chicken right. and the cat can go their separate ways. So it's just a happy little joke. Nobody's going to get right. out there. Once exactly. the cat gut dissolves away, Everything's fine, you get your entertainment, and then that cat and that chicken, they go on about their business. <laughs> so there you go, uh, there you go, infected army. You see, the internet can be very useful, but it's not completely useful unless you have the help of me. What if internet I want to? Martin Sarge. I'm going to attach, I want to attach my ass to that lazy boy over there. Watch me some cops later on. <laughs> Hey, uh, we're going to do a new segment on the show now that we call Stripper Pole Follies. Yeah, Stripper like Pole that. Follies. Um, That's my favorite. Here, here's, uh, here's the genesis of this. It was maybe a week or two, a couple of weeks ago, we, we showed a, a drunk chick uh -huh. getting hurt, really badly hurt on a stripper pole. Right, it's dangerous. We started right? looking around, uh, around. It turns out there's like a bottomless well of uh -huh. these, these, these husky drunk chicks hurting themselves terribly on stripper poles. Don't so, get on the stripper pole. Here's drunk. the one that we showed you last time. Remember this? Yeah, he's going for it. Yeah, he's that's dancing. One, that's one of them stripper poles you get in your house. No, 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 that, that's this one. That's this one. Okay, here's this chick now. Yeah, she's got the homemade stripper pole. Oh, right, pole. okay, yeah. It's like she just basically took a shower rod. You know, basically, when you when you date a gal and you go over to her house and she's got one of them set up, you're like, score. That's oh, right. there she goes. <laughs> she kind of went Tim Burr. She went sure down did. pretty hard. You know what I'm saying though? If you're a dated girl, you go to her house and she's got a what a homemade stripper pole set up in her house. Yeah. That's a good sign. It is. You Especially when there's a yappy little dog right there too. You want to hold on to one of them. And that yappy little dog. Yeah, so you people at home, if you've got a fat girlfriend and a video camera, why don't you erect a homemade uh, stripper pole and sh uh, send us the footage. Get drunk We'd first. really appreciate that. Yeah, you get good and drunk. You can send those videos to Martin Get at Vision 3. Dot. Come. Okay, lots more infected coming up right after this word from our sponsor. Make it filthy. Tonight's episode of Infected is brought to you by the Ricky Kang Robbery and Rape Whistle. We are going to blow your head off. I swear to God, I'll shoot you, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thanks for the can. No problem, let's party. Crime never sleeps. Ricky Kang doesn't either. Why waste time and money learning self-defense when Ricky Kang can do it for you? Just blow the whistle when you need him and Ricky Kang will be there in three to eight seconds. Anywhere in the world, any time of the day or night, crime never sleeps. And Ricky Kang doesn't either. Order your Ricky Kang robbery and rape whistle today for the low, low price of $19.99 and kick the shit out of crime. Order today and get a Ricky Kang Kindle stick and Kang's Corner Throwing Star free, free, free! And welcome back to Infected. You know, Gator, ever since we moved back up here to old San Francisco mm -hmm. town, I've felt inspired. Yeah, it's an inspiring place. It really it's is. In fact, I've been so inspired that I just keep thinking that I have lots of important things to say to you, my internet people. And that's why... You started we blogging start, again. I started blogging again. Yes, you got did. it. In a new segment we call Blogging by the Bay. I'm glad you're blogging again. I like it. <laughs> Thanks, Bay. Thanks for always reminding me that the world is maybe not as crazy as it seems. It's a wild world out there and sometimes things can get a little bit scary. 
Like when you pick up a drifter in your car up by the airport and the next thing you know, you're waking up in a drainage culvert wearing nothing but a heavy duty plastic trash bag and your colon is perforated. Thanks, Bay. Well, that's a nice little blog you got there. Yeah. It's amazing how inspirational the, the old San Francisco <laughs> Bay can be. Everywhere you look, just inspiring vistas yeah. and whatnot. That's well, it, that's, that's all the time we got for this infected special edition. Wait, you going to read a story? Come on. I, I don't know. I kind of want to get out by that bay you and do some You get inspired by your blogs. I like the stories. Oh, all right. One short story. All right. That's more this like is it. a story of Gary, the guy who wanted to be popular on Facebook. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a guy named Gary, who made a Facebook page in hopes of becoming popular at the community college where he studied physical therapy. Gary was convinced he'd use his degree to be a trainer for the Dallas Cowboys. But if he could look into the future, all he'd have seen was a whole lot of himself helping old people on and off the toilet. But Gary was concerned about the here and now, and took lots of pictures of himself trying to look buff for his Facebook page. But nobody ever agreed to be his friend. Because those pictures, well, those pictures just made him look like a total douchebag. So fuck you, Gary, <laughs> and have fun spending your adult years swabbing down the assholes of the elderly with alcohol swabs. <laughs> the and that's that Gary got what he deserved. Now fuck him. <laughs> that's what you get for going to a two-year school, Gary. Facebook is for assholes, <laughs> whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's all the time we got for this special edition of Infected for the Gator. This is Martin Sawyer reminding you, don't get ripped by the Riptide. We'll see you at the bar. Yeah. <laughs> You've been watching Infected. If you're still watching Infected, then go grab your alcohol swabs and swab yourself down some like Gary because you're an asshole and you're infected. <laughs> see you later. Infected was written by Martin Sargent and Jay Speeden. Camera and audio by Glenn Mekalos. Edited by Glenn Mekalos. That Glenn Mekalos, he sure is a dynamo. Get him, Glenn!